Um, well, I honestly didn't even, I didn't remember that. Like, I didn't even think about that today until you just mentioned it. Um, I honestly forgot all about that. Um, but, I mean, I'm sure there's no way around it. You I mean, you're going to be exposed to it. You're going to, you know, be forced to think of, to at least see, watch, whatever. But uh, regardless of what they, you know, how, you know, what the committee decides or whatever, or, you know, it's only the first one, not first of all. And second of all, um, you know, none of that matters right now, really. Um, and regardless of what they say, how they feel about us, it's all about what we do going forward. Um, you know, and we control our own destiny going forward. So we just got to make the most of every day, really, um, you know, as a team. And the rest, you know, everything else will figure out for itself. So. Uh, he's a very talented player, uh, you know, just watching him on film and obviously playing him last year. You know, he's he's old. He's an older guy. You know, he has a lot of experience and everything like that, too. So, I mean, he just makes it makes the game hard on you. You know, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, you know, I think he just threw his first interception in like, you know, almost a year, um, you know, and, you know, so it just shows that, you know, he's making he's doing making good decisions and doing things right. Uh, and you know we just got to try to make it tough on him as a defense, you know, and it starts up front in the trenches. Just make it, you know, just making his job as hard as possible, and you know, just bringing energy, really. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, Days was a really good running back last year. Really impressive. Ran the ball hard and everything, and uh, they moved their receiver to uh, running back this year, and he's a very talented player. Uh, you know, it doesn't seem like there's much of, uh, of a drop off from last year, or anything from that standpoint. And like you know, they got so many returners back too, and everything. Just a veteran offensive line, good, good, good offensive line. Um, you know, good blocking tight ends, things like that too, and a good and a good running back. You know, just makes plays. So, you know, it's going to be high stress this week. Um, you know, just because they're going to make things hard on us, and they have a lot of experience. But uh, you know, we just got to work hard this week. Uh, you know, and just go follow the game plan really. Uh, it's the same thing, um, you know. It's just the same mentality, you know. This is quote a bigger game, I guess, you know, because there's, you know, a little bit more at stake, I guess. Um, but you just got to make it a smaller. You just got to make it smaller, really, um, you know. And don't don't think too much about that because, uh, you know, if we do our job, then you know we'll get the result we want. Uh, you know, you can't put too much pressure on yourself, too much stress or anything like that. Um, you, you know, just this make your life as simple as it can both on and off the field, you know, and just and so that when it's game time, you know, you can just do your job. Um, I mean, every every game for me is fun. I always try to make every game as fun as possible. I, I personally enjoy it. Um, I try to bring the same juice, in, uh, you know, every game, no matter who we're playing. Um, and, you know, I try to, you know, uh, stress that to my other teammates. You know, you got to be up for every game. You can't just choose when you want to play and, you know, things like that. So you really just got to bring it each and every week. NC State's one of the few teams that has a defensive front that's been mentioned in the same circles as you guys. Is there anything you take any extra pride or motivation out there on Saturday knowing they're out there doing uh, that? Well, yeah, like, you know, it's obvious that we know they got good, a good D-line, you know, really talented D-line. And, um, you know, if we do what we do, just play how we know how we can play and, you know, just really focus this week, then, you know, we'll, you, I mean, it would be fun. I'm sure it would be fun to watch either way because we know they got a lot of talented players on their D line. We got, you know, a good D line, obviously, too. But, um, you know, if we just focus on what we need to focus on and, you know, and just do what we do, then, you know, uh, you know, it'll show, you know, it will be sorted out by the end of the game, you know, who has a, uh, you know, um, a better D line, so to speak, uh, you know, but both are very talented for sure. Uh, yeah, NC State is actually probably one of my favorite places to play. I love the hostility. I remember just it was Halloween last time we played there too, and uh, it was a, just a lot of fun. You know, there like uh, everyone was dressed up and everything like that, and it was just really hostile. Uh, the crowd really got into it. They did a really good job. It's a good environment for sure, and uh, I'm looking forward to going back playing again. And even then, last year, uh, you know, or two years ago, you know, we didn't play like we needed to. Uh, you know, it, was a, it ended up being, uh, you know, they scored a lot of points on us and everything like that. So hopefully, you know, just get a little chance to, you know, um, redeem ourselves, so to speak. I did. I'm, I was unaware of that, but I mean, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, you know, you still got to go out there and play. So. Uh, 
Uh, you know, well, it's really just like it kind of started off just with the, having the bye week too. You know, just guys came back fresh, rejuvenated, and everything like that. And you know, we just had a lot of good energy, a lot of good focus all week in practice last week. And uh, you know, even now, you know, guys are still bringing it. And I'm sure to you know today and the rest of the practices uh, this week, you know, will just be high energy because we, you know, the practices are more fun that way. You know, when we're competing, you know, everyone's talking and, you know, offense is going at defense, defense is going on offense, you know, it's a lot more fun that way. So we'll try to keep that up and, you know, just have someone be a spark each day and just just be infectious, you know, so everybody can feel it and just, you know, um, you know, just bring, everyone could feel like, you know, they want to bring good energy each and every day. So you guys had that energy, you had that mood already, and it just so happened that, you know, you guys got a change down Right, yeah, and that, that definitely helped make that game more fun for sure. Uh, you know, just, just like backyard backyard football, really just playing out there, you know, uh, slipping and sliding in the rain and in the, in the mud and everything. So that made it a lot more fun, too. Yeah. Your first afternoon road game in quite a while. Right. Uh, obviously, you play whenever, it doesn't matter. But uh, do you personally like uh, just not having quite as much downtime and getting back? Uh, I mean, somewhat, you know, like it's not always great to sit around the hotel all day and just like think about it and like, you know, you just want to play. But I, like, you know, it's, it, the good thing about uh, having a late game is give you more time to prepare, uh, you know, just to uh, go over those last little details again, you know, check your notes two and three more times and everything like that. So, I mean, it, it has it like, you know, playing late is good, but, you know, uh, it, it is nice to just get up and go play and just get the game out the way for sure. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, and no, um, and, and, and I'm sure. And I'm sure the Power Rangers. That's that's a lifestyle. That's not just a costume. So, um, you know, and and I don't know the Power Rangers personally, um, but I know that you know they got to keep their identities hidden. So I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I love Reese's. Uh, I'm a big peanut butter guy. I love my love my Reese's. Got to have my Reese's. Yeah. Um. Ooh, that's tough. Probably Smarties. Like, who eats Smarties? Um, like, I don't know why they ever, like, anyone ever think that's a good candy to give. Like, I just, yeah, not a big Smarties fan. The chewy Smarties aren't that bad, but like the old tart like Smarties, yeah, those aren't, those, yeah. Or uh, what's the what's the other ones? The, yeah, 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 yeah the Smarties, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, see, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I, I guess in a way, you know, he'll always be the our true first original Zordon. You know, he'll, we'll always – I still call him Zordon to this day. Like, uh, when I talk to him sometimes, like, I'll just still, like, send him, like, just funny text here and there, just like, what's up, Zordon, or, like, you know, something just, uh, you know, he, but he loves it too. You know, he's fully – you know, he was good about that. Yeah. What happens if your offense line comes out with something to battle the power? <laughs> I mean, well, the Power Rangers are ready for anything. You know, we'll be ready to fight whatever villains, uh, you know, we have to go up against. And, uh, you know, we do what we got to do. It's morphing time. What's a Zordon? What's a Zordon? It's a, it's a um, old bean. I, I don't even know exactly. Just a old, like, I really don't even know how to explain it. He lives in, like, this glass jar, though. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, he's old. He's, like, centuries old. Centuries old, yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah.